Hey guys, it's Windy from Windy Star. Welcome back to my channel. Happy holiday! I want to draw something that related with Thanksgiving and the fall season. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw this corn in color pencil. I'll talk about how I layer the color to create a leaf texture and walk you through step by step how I complete this drawing. Now if you're ready, let's get straight into it. Before drawing, I'll observe the reference photo and pick out the colors I want, then try to mix it and taste it out on another piece of paper, and this will help avoid mistakes. Then I start drawing the end. I first draw out the darkest control, then I put a base layer on, after that, I add shadows. Notice the top area has a lighter color, and make sure to leave refraction areas blank while coloring. For the husk, I first put a base layer on, then add darker shades, then I draw out the darkest contour where two leaves connect. Make sure to strengthen the shadow where two leaves overlap so they pop out more. Notice that I usually start coloring from the light layer and gradually add on darker shades and shadows. I like to work on layers to create a realistic look and this will also help avoid mistakes. It's quite important to color following the direction of the growth so the strokes won't look too messy and this will make the drawing looks more natural. Then continue the same coloring process until all leaves are finished. For the hair, the key is to leave blanks in between the hair and focus on drawing the shadow areas to offset the lighter hair. And also strengthen the shadow where the hair and the body connect and this will help the drawing looks more natural.
For the kernels, I first put a light layer over the whole area. You can see that I hold the pencil at the end, so it's easier to draw a very light color and it's faster as well. After that, I draw out the darkest contour of all of the kernels. So the shape of each kernel doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure they are in the right row so overall they will look real, as you can see here. After I'm done with that, I add shadows around each kernels, especially where the kernel and the hugs connect so they look more 3D. Then I add second layer on the kernel. In this layer, the color can be darker because you want to show the kernel's color. And make sure to leave the refraction areas blank while coloring. For the kernel around the top area, they have darker shades, so I add another layer on top of that. Lastly, you can take the white color to highlight certain reflection areas on the kernel so they pop out more. Now the painting is well done here. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions. And as always, I will list all the colors I use in the description box. Check it out if you're interested. That's all for today's video. I really hope it's helpful and if you enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!